Hey guys, we were talking earlier with Dr. Brandon Taravella here at UNO about the development of the electronic eel for the U.S. Navy, and we were wondering how he actually tested it, and this is what he had to say. Uh, this is our towing tank in the engineering building at the University of New Orleans. Uh, it's a 125 foot long uh, swimming pool, nonetheless. It's sort of like a uh, wind tunnel for naval architects. Um, when we put the eel in the tank, we'll use a series of uh, high-speed cameras as well as some lasers um, in a process known as particle image velocimetry. And uh, we'll put some particles in the water and these lasers will light up those particles. Um, the cameras will take pictures of those particles as the eel swims through the water. Uh, we have some computer uh, software that will then take those images and process the images and actually tell us how the particles are moving, uh, how fast they are moving. And uh, what we're looking not to see is, um, what we don't want to see is the disturbances behind the eel. So we have a theory here that if the eel swims with a certain motion that it won't shed uh, vortices or swirling water behind the eel as it swims through. Hopefully we have improved efficiency of the eel as it swims forward. So uh, in other words, we can go longer distances on less power. Uh, and a secondary, um, Thing that we'd like to show is that uh, with less disturbance it may be less detectable to uh, to others. So guys inside this device is a series of servo motors. The casing is actually made from a 3D printer and when it's complete it'll be wrapped in this material which will keep it watertight. Some fascinating stuff here at the University of New Orleans. They'll be providing all the information that they develop here to the U.S. Navy in three years. Back to you guys in the studio.